Hey Hyundai owners, today we've got a 2018 Hyundai Sonata in the shop and we're going to be showing you how to install Kurt's T-Connector vehicle wiring harness with four pole flat trailer connector. And this is what our wiring is going to look like when it's installed on our Sonata ready for use. It's going to hang out the back of the trunk and be clamped in between our weather stripping which is going to hold it in place without causing any damage to the wiring. It's going to provide you with all of your necessary lighting which includes your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps and brake lamps keeping you DOT compliant in all states. When you're ready to use your wiring Simply pull it out, drape it over the back, making sure to avoid the striker in the middle, and then you can just close the trunk. The trunk will clamp it between your weather stripping, keeping it in place, and it won't cause any damage to the wiring. If you're planning on doing any towing, such as a jet ski trailer or small utility trailer, this wiring is going to let all of the lighting work on those trailers, ensuring that everybody behind you knows what your intentions are while driving down the road. We'll begin our installation at the back of the vehicle with our trunk open. And we're going to need to gain access to the wiring behind our tail lights. So we'll have to remove the access covers located on each side. And I also recommend that you take out the net hooks because we are going to have to run wires from side to side. So this will give us some, a little more play while we're working. There's also some down below on our threshold. There'll be two on each side. Next, you want to remove the floor covering set that aside and then we can remove our threshold this is just going to pull up and pop off kind of work each side and then you can work towards the center we can now set that aside after you pull the threshold up it's not uncommon for some of the pins to remain behind so you can just take your flat bladed screwdriver or a trim panel remover tool, get underneath of it and pop it up. This will just slide back in to the slot in your panel. On our driver's side, we'll take the connectors with the yellow, red, and brown wires. We're going to run those behind our covering here. I'm gonna pull those through. Press in on the release tab, find out the top of the connector, and you can just pull it out. We'll now take this connector. We're going to plug it into our harness. And then we'll plug the other end of our harness back into our tail lights connector. Now we're going to connect our ground wire. It already has a ring terminal pre-attached to it. There's a ground stud located down there, the ratchet is already on the nut. It's gonna use a 10 millimeter socket. We're gonna remove that nut. Slide our ground wire over the stud. And then reinstall the nut. Our green wire now is gonna route across to the passenger side. You wanna make sure you go behind the fabric sidewalls. And we're gonna do just like we did on the driver's side. We're gonna disconnect our passenger side connector plug it into our harness, and then plug the harness back into our taillight assembly. Next, you'll want to take the black wire coming off of your module, and you want to connect it to the black wire that comes in your kit. Use the yellow butt connector that comes provided and crimp those two together. The rest of the black wire that comes in your kit, you're going to route down the back side of your fabric paneling. We're going to route it across towards our passenger side, and you'll find a grommet there located behind the rear passenger seat. You can use a Phillips head screwdriver to just poke down through that, and that'll give you a little access hole to poke your wire down through so we can route it up to the front to make our connection to the battery. The wiring is gonna poke down behind your fuel tank underneath when you pass through the grommet. From here, we can run it underneath our under shielding, and we're gonna stay under that under shielding all the way up till we get to the middle point here. Once we get to the middle point, we're going to route it across the beam here, and then we're gonna go underneath this paneling up to the front. So our battery's on the driver's side, and we wanna make sure we've got a safe cross where we're not gonna get too close to our exhaust and melt our wire. Now we can go up into our engine compartment from there. I recommend using a fish wire, which can be a piece of airline tube, coat hanger, anything that you can poke down from up top, and then just tape the wire to it and use it to pull it up. We then pulled our wire up next to our brake fluid reservoir. We went across, zip tied it to the factory wiring here, 
And now we've got the rest that we need to make our connection to our battery positive post here. You can simply flip that cover up and gain access to that. We'll now prepare our fuse harness to connect to our black wire. You want to take off the rubber that's on the end to expose your wires. On one end, we're going to be crimping on the ring terminal that comes in our kit. And on the other end, we're gonna crimp a butt connector. Now you can use the yellow ones that come in your kit, but we're upgrading to a heat shrink butt connector. This is gonna keep out any moisture from our connection, ensuring that it's going to be a long lasting connection to our battery. And the other end, we will crimp onto our black wire. So we're gonna go ahead and cut that to length. So we're just gonna kinda of eyeball here for our fuse. Looks like we need about that much. I always like to give myself a little excess to make sure I've got enough. Trim that down. And then we'll strip back our black wiring. We can now connect our butt connector to our black wire. We'll attach the ring terminal end to our battery positive post. We're using a 12 millimeter socket to remove the nut located there. We can then make our connection by just sliding our ring terminal over the stud and then reinstalling the nut. You can then take your wiring route it outside the case and close it back down. We'll then use a heat gun to shrink down our butt connector. We can then install the fuse into the fuse holder and now is a good time to test everything out to make sure it's all working properly. You can test it by either plugging in your trailer or a tester like the one we have here. If you need a tester, you can pick one up here at eTrailer.com. You want to make sure you have your left turn signal, right turn signal, tail lamps, and brake lamps. With everything working properly, we can now use the included zip ties to clean up any of our wiring and then reassemble our trunk. Once you've got everything cleaned up, we can put our dust cap onto our connector end. And it just simply slides over. And you can store it in your rear compartment when not in use. And that completes our installation of Kurt's T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector on our 2018 Hyundai Sonata.